crossword fans. Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, October 25th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across wood strip. I wonder if that could be a slat. Let's see if we can confirm that on the downs here. Unwanted gaps. Unwanted. I wonder if they're talking about something specific here. Hmm. Thorny tree? A thorny tree? Huh. I don't know what that is. School skipper. Shouldn't that be a truant? Maybe it's not a slat. Truant, yeah, that's a pretty good answer there. Can we think of anything else that would make sense for wood strip? Hmm. Farmland measure? That should be an acre, right? Okay, maybe we can get these short ones down here. German article. That could be ein, maybe? That's the German word for the word a. College entrance exams. That has to be SATs. Does that help on these downs? Not really. Hmm. Is this an acacia tree, maybe? I'm very unsure about that. Captain's post? The captain's post is at the helm. Okay. I wonder if this is lath? If you've ever heard about lath and plaster, that's the kind of material they used to use to make walls before there was drywall. It's the slats covered by plaster. That's pretty tricky for a Monday. Um, hmm, maybe this is lapses, like gaps in your memory. That's also pretty tricky. Maybe this is acacia. I don't really remember exactly what that is. I feel like I've heard that word. Let's see if it makes sense on these acrosses. Shrimp dish, yeah, that's scampi. Okay, so this might be our first theme answer here, this long across. Let's take a look. Former CNN anchor with a true crime series on the Investigation Discovery Channel. Hmm. A former CNN anchor. I'm not sure if I know this. TikTok, Instagram, or Google's Find My Device. Hmm. Is it just an example of an app, maybe? Paula. Hmm. The World of Blank Wong? I don't think I've heard of this either. Wow, okay. Uh, let's take a look at this next long across. This might also be another theme answer. Places where kids can feed goats and sheep. I think you would call that a petting zoo, right? Oh, it's places plural though, so it's going to be zoos plural. Hmm, okay. Is it Ali Wong? For some reason, that rings a faint bell. Is this an A? Circus animal balancing a ball on its nose. Um, shouldn't that be a seal? Is that right? Timeline segment could be an era, maybe? Wood for a baseball bat is definitely ash. Hawaiian porches? Oh my god. Um, I think this has come up once this year. This Hawaiian porch word. I'm surprised to see it on a Monday. It's kind of an arcane word. Um, let's see. Blank Major, the Big Dipper. That's Ursa Major. Is this Susie? Susie Wong? Um, okay, I think there's an anchor called Paula Zahn, maybe? This could be Susie with a Z. I wasn't even close with Ali Wong. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna remember this word. That's really tough. Yeah, this is like a style of architecture in Hawaii. Um, all right, let's try and get some crossing help. Puff from a pipe or cigarette. Uh, hmm, it's not a drag. 
It's hoisted on a brig in high winds. I guess this would be a brig as in a ship. Maybe it's a top sail. This Monday is really hard. It's full of kind of like more obscure references and language. It's very interesting. Approximately speaking, these quotes mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for approximately speaking. Um, it seems like it could be or so. I wonder if top sail is wrong. Kind of alarm often activated in the morning. Kind of alarm, hmm. Often activated in the morning? Is it your alarm clock? Hmm. Larson, who wrote the Millennium Trilogy. That was Stieg Larson. That's the girl with the dragon tattoo. Cook as vegetables. Seems like that should be saute. Issue to discuss. Issue to discuss. Like at a meeting? Hmm. November birthstone. It's not topaz? That Z at the end really makes me want to put in topaz. Could this be something else? It's not stew. Hmm. This could be topic, right? Maybe we can get something off of this C. One's making introductions in brief. I think that should be MC's, Master of Ceremonies. Yeah. As you can see, I like to build off of kind of more rare letters instead of trying to build off a vowel. I feel like you usually have a better shot to decipher answers that have rare letters in them as opposed to something with just like a vowel in it. Yeah. Okay, this is looking really weird though. Cook as vegetables with an M at the end. Apple tablets should be iPads. Smog monitoring org, that could be the Environmental Protection Agency. Um, lend a hand should be aid. Oh, it's steam. Jeez. I don't know why I couldn't see that. It's a perfectly common way to cook vegetables. Okay. On the ocean could be a sea. Uh, this is looking vaguely familiar. Approximately speaking. Hmm. I still don't know what that should be. Okay. Maybe this is going to be the snooze alarm. I don't know if that would be considered an alarm. It's kind of weird. Is it called a snooze alarm? I guess it's the alarm that goes off after you hit the snooze button. I've never thought of that as an alarm before. That's that's interesting. Okay. Um, maybe it is or so. This would be an O. Yeah, maybe this could be a toke. And it looks like top sale is wrong. Okay. And this would be Lanai. Okay, yeah, I guess maybe I remember that. I think we probably still have a photo of it we can put up, yeah. Okay, so what would be hoisted on a brig? Hmm, I just don't know. Yeah, let's get more crossing help. Whirl or twirl? If you're doing either of those things, that could be considered a spin. Um, annoying. Maybe pesky? Yeah, okay. Sinus doc would be an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And it's abbreviated in the answer here because you have this abbreviated word in the clue, doc. That's always kind of an indication that you need to have an abbreviation in your answer. All right, let's take a peek at this next long across. Classic Nintendo character named after F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife. Well, I know his wife was Zelda, and I know there's a very famous Nintendo character named Zelda. That would be Princess Zelda of the Legend of Zelda games. Very nice. Okay. Um, okay, so let's take a look at our theme answers so far. What do we have? Paula Zahn petting zoos, and Princess Zelda. 
I kind of see something in common with all of these. There's a P at the beginning and a Z at the beginning of the second word. PZ? PZ? Huh. That's interesting. I can't think of anything in like common language that would put P and Z together. I'll be interested to see if we have a revealer and maybe it'll explain why we have P and Z as our theme today. Yeah. Ars Amatoria Poet. This looks like Latin, so I'm gonna guess it's Ovid. Twice Tetra. Tetra is a prefix that means four, right? So twice four would be eight. Octa would be the eight prefix. Many takers of the SATs abbreviated. That's gotta be seniors. Okay, we've got a VCR here. Obsolescent TV hookup, yeah, that is a bit obsolescent now. Round trips, and this is wordplay as indicated by this question mark here. So with wordplay, you kind of have to ignore the standard reading of the clue. The standard reading here would be about going to a place and then coming back. What you have to do instead is look for a punny answer. So I think the pun here is going to be about a trip that's literally round. I think that could be orbits, right? Those would be literally round trips around a planet. Big retailer of outdoor gear. That has to be REI. Three ingredient sandwiches for short could be BLTs. Hmm. Failed epically. That could be ate it maybe, like if you fall off your skateboard. Is this gonna be a try sale, T-R-Y? That's very interesting. I've never heard of that before. At least it did end up being a sale of some kind. Okay. Normandy battle site in World War II. Oh man, this is super crosswordy. Um, this is Saint Lo. Again, we get an abbreviation in the clue, World War II. So this is the abbreviated Saint Lo. Yeah, this is just a place in France that shows up on the puzzle every once in a while. It's always clued as a battle site in World War II. Yeah. It's kind of something you have to learn if you're going to do crosswords. Body part that a Manx cat lacks? I know Manx cats don't have tails. Yeah, they have a stubby little nub. Um, Grim Reaper's implement? Uh, he's got a scythe, right? To reap souls? Yeah. Okay. Like Mr. Spock's ears. Um, they're pointy, right? He's got those Vulcan ears. Backup singer for Gladys Knight. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Is this someone in particular? Or was she in a band? And this would be like the name of the band in singular, referring to one of the band members. I don't know. Law officers in slang? Could that be the popo? I think so. Iranian money, I think that's the real, maybe? Let's just confirm that. Hoppy quaff in brief. A quaff is a drink, so that could be a India Pale Ale. That's a very hoppy quaff. All right, so this is gonna be another theme answer, right? Um, so it has to start with P, and the second word has to start with Z. So I think this is going to be the Polish Zloty. <laughs> That's very tricky. Yeah, okay. And this is a pip. Um, yeah, I think this must be like the name of the backup singers. It must have been like Gladys Knight and the Pips or something like that. That's what I imagine it has to be. Okay. Blank the Jet Walker Basketball Hall of Famer. Oh my god, um, I don't know if I know this one. Sweet cake topper. Is it just icing? That would be a sweet cake topper. Malted EG? Like a malted milkshake or a malted milk ball? Um, hmm. I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Let's see if we can get some of these acrosses here. 
Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Is there another word for eyelashes? Ballpark purchase in a bun. It's not a hot dog? Hmm. Overhang. Overhang. Hmm. Boy, this corner is a little tricky here. Maybe we can get some of these downs. North of the Border Sports Org? Oh my god. Okay, so it's going to be a Canadian sports org. I think maybe it could be the CFL, the Canadian Football League. That's the only specifically Canadian sports league I can think of. Fury could be Ire. Does that help on these acrosses? Eyelashes, huh? Oh, maybe it's just a Frank. It's kind of a slang term for a hot dog. Okay. Is this ledge? This is so tricky. This is a noun. I was thinking this was going to be a verb, like to overhang, but it's actually a noun. A ledge is an overhang. Ooh, that's really hard. Okay. A young fellow could be a lad. Is this cilia like a biological term? <laughs> oh my god. This Monday is not messing around. Um, what is this? Oh, it's like a shake. This is an example of a kind of milkshake. A malted. That's also very hard. Man. Okay, Montezuma's people could be the Aztecs. Let's get a little bit more crossing help here. Oh, look at this. This is not starting with a P. So this must be the revealer. I have no idea what it's going to be. PZ. PZ. Is there somebody whose name was PZ something? I don't know. Spice whose name consists of two consecutive pronouns. Okay. Um, pronouns. Is it going to be pronouns in English? Or could we have foreign language pronouns too? Uh, is it them, I or something? Time? T-H-Y-M-E, thy, me, those are pronouns. <laughs> That's so tricky. That's a fun clue for time though. Okay. Study, study, study could be cram if you're a senior getting ready for the SATs. Eyelid affliction could be a sty. That would be around your cilia. Good name for a museum curator. That's got to be art. Yes, that's a properly punny curator name. Blank what? Maybe say what? All right, we have easy. Let's take a peek at our revealer and see why we have P's and Z's on our grid today. So simple. Like 17, 24, 40, and 52 across. Well, shouldn't that be easy as pie? Easy as pie. Okay, I had to sit here for a minute and think about how these could possibly be easy as pie. And the answer is they're not easy as pie. I have the wrong phrase for so simple. It's not easy as pie. What are the two letters that we have in here? They're P and Z, right? PZ? Maybe instead of easy as pie, they're easy peasy. <laughs> That's definitely a phrase I've heard before. That's so tricky. Easy peasy. These are all easy peasy. That's really funny. That's a really nice contemporary phrase. That's really cool that you could build a theme around that. These must have been really hard to come up with. Polish Zloty, oh my god. All right, well, let's finish up this last corner here. Bark like a lapdog could be yip. Long-haired, pot-smoking, 1960s stereotype. It's got to be a hippie. Fuel from a bog could be peat. Yeah, you can use peat moss as a fuel source. Only major Texas city on mountain time. Oh, it must be all the way in the west. Is it El Paso? 
I think that's pretty far to the west. That could be. Performer in a kimono. Shouldn't that be a geisha? Yeah, okay, so maybe we're spelling easy peasy with a S. Easy peasy, I guess is how you spell that? Okay, that still works because it sounds like peasy still. Okay, and then we can put in geisha. Okay, is this gonna be Sega? No. <laughs> Western Lily. Um, is this a Sedge? Is that right? I'm not 100% sure on that. Neighbor of Syria abbreviated. Oh my god. Um, maybe it's Lebanon? And that would give us did as directed. No, that should be obeyed, right? Yeah, this is say go. Yeah, I think I have seen that a couple of times on the puzzle this year. Sago. This puzzle is very hard for a Monday. I will say a lot of this is a little bit um, more obscure fill than you usually see on a Monday puzzle. Okay, so this should be an E. Tennis great Arthur. Yeah, that's Arthur Ashe. There's a tennis stadium named after him in Queens. And then this should be a D. Warty flycatcher. That should be a toad, yeah. That's also another Nintendo character that's on the grid today. All right, let's put that D in and see if that does it for us. All right, 29 minutes. That is really long for a Monday for us. Usually we're trying to get under 20 minutes. I did spend quite a few minutes trying to understand how easy as pie could possibly have anything to do with PZ. So that accounts for a few minutes of that salt time. But still, I think this was definitely a tougher than average Monday puzzle. Lanai's? Trisail? St. Lo is kind of tricky crossword ease. Sago is a little bit more arcane. Acacia? Yeah, we had a little bit of a more abstruse flora mini theme today. Also, Cilia was kind of tough too. Man, yeah, even Polish Zloty. I don't know, I don't know if a lot of people know that Poland uses the Zloty. Um, Paula Zahn, I mean, yeah. Petting Zoos and Princess Zelda are definitely Monday level, but yeah, two of these answers are a little harder. And I think even Easy Peasy was a little hard. It definitely tripped me up for a while. I wanted to put in Easy as Pie, yeah. But still, even though this was a harder Monday puzzle, I think it was really fun. I think maybe it just ran on the wrong day of the week. I think this definitely could have run as a Tuesday and maybe even a Wednesday. Yeah, but still, I think it's a very fun puzzle. Um, there's some nice fill in there. I do like Polish Lottie a lot. I like Geisha, El Paso. This was kind of a nice factoid about El Paso. That was a nice way to clue it. Um, even though like Lanai and Acacia are kind of arcane, they're still good terms to know because they do crop up in crosswords every once in a while. But yeah, it is kind of surprising to see them on a Monday puzzle. I am glad we got to see a good example of a wordplay clue today. This orbits clue, round trips, is a perfect example of the kind of wordplay you're going to see on New York Times crossword puzzles. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that pesky Monday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.